Hello friends, I'm Akash, and a hearty welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, you'll be learning a simple trick to square any two-digit number easily. At first, this may look a bit daunting, but after some time and preparation, it'll become really, really easy to multiply any of these numbers by themselves in your head very quickly. So, this is how the trick works. We'll take an example like 21 squared. Now, 21 squared, you can divide the solution to this into three separate parts. The first part, middle part, and last part. Now, the first part is actually just the square of the first digit. In this case, the first digit of 21 is 2, so 2 squared is 4, and 4 is the first part. Now, the last part of the answer is actually the square of the last digit of the original number. So 21, the last digit is 1, 1 squared is 1, so 1 is the last digit. Now, we'll take a look at the middle part, and the middle part is actually the product of the two digits of the original number times 2. So basically what we're looking at is for 21, we're looking at 2 times 1 times 2. And 2 times 1 times 2 is 4. So 4 is the middle part. So now you can just put all three parts together. The front part is 4, middle is 4, the last part is 1. And so you get 21 squared equal to 441. And that is the answer. Let's take a look at a slightly larger example. Say, 32 squared. Now, let's begin by separating the answer into three parts. The first part is just the first digit of 32 squared. So the first digit of 32 is 3, 3 squared is 9, and so 9 is the first digit. The last digit is just the square of the last digit of 32, which is 2. 2 squared is 4, so 4 is the last digit of our answer. So, now this is where it gets interesting, because the middle part is 3 times 2 times 2, the product of the two digits of the original number multiplied by 2. But the interesting thing is, 3 times 2 times 2 is 12, and 12 is a two-digit number. So, when we're calculating the solution, we're going to carry over. So, let's take a look at what we have so far. The first part is 9, the middle part is 12, and the last part is 4. So, working from the last until the first, we have 4, and then we have 12, but we'll take the unit part of that, which is 2, and the 1 will be carried over to the next part, which is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10, and so 10 is what we come out on the front. And that means that 32 squared is equal to 1024. Let's take a look at our third example. This one is quite a bit larger, and this is 67 squared. Now, we'll do the same thing that we did previously. So, we start by dividing the answer into three portions. The first part is just the square of 6, which is 36. The last part is the square of 7, 49. And so, this is what we have so far. Now, the middle part is 6 times 7 times 2. 6 times 7 is 42, times 2 is 84. And so, now you have your three parts. So let's calculate the answer to this problem. And we begin with 49. And this already has two digits. And we can only have one in this space. So what we do instead is just keep the 9 and carry over the 4. Next, we have 84. And 84 plus the 4 we carried from earlier is now 88. And again, the same situation arises. We can only grab one. So we take the unit, which is now eight, and that's the second to last digit of our answer. Then what we do 
is we take our eight that we have left and we carry it over to the next part, which is 36. And 36 plus eight is 44. So then we just write 44 at the beginning and therefore we have 67 squared equal to 4,489. And that is the answer. Now let's take a look at one final example, 84 squared. Now, by this time, you'll be able to understand exactly what to do here. So we split the answer into three parts, like we did with the other ones. So the first part is eight squared, 64. The last part is four squared, 16. And the middle part is eight times four times two. Now we can just take a look. Eight times four is 32, 32 times two is 64. So 64 is our middle section. And once again, we can begin the process of carrying over all the digits. So we begin with 16, keep the six, carry over the one to 64. So 64 plus one is now 65. So then you keep the five and carry over the six to the first part of the answer, which is 64. 64 plus six is 70. And now you can stick 70 at the beginning of your answer, which means that 84 squared is equal to 7,056. And that is the answer. Now that you're fully acquainted with this simple trick to square any two digit number, it's homework time. Try to figure out what the squares of 26, 43, and 78 are. Make sure to comment down your answers in the comment section below, and for your convenience, the answers to each of these homework questions will be located in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos just like this. Thanks so much for watching. Love you. Akash.